hello, 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 hello. It's Yay Yay aka Modishe. And today I'm going to share an update on my braces journey and why I decided to have surgery. problems in open bites and across bites. When I took off my braces for the second time, I noticed that my teeth looked different. This is expected since the teeth were manipulated and changes occurred during 2013 to 2020, but something was off. As you can see here, my bottom teeth are leaning inwards. This was caused by my lower jaw. I confirmed this with my orthodontist, and if you look at this picture here, it depicts what is expected to happen in my case. Also, if you draw a line from my nose to my chin, you can see that the upper teeth is aligned while the lower teeth is slightly off. It looks like the lower teeth shifted to the left. If you move from the right to the left, the teeth seem like they could touch, but when you get to the middle and the left, they're not meeting because of how the lower jaw grew more on the right side. Now, according to the oral surgeon, generally when there is an extra growth in the growth plate and where the joint is, and it can shift the jaw to the side, causing the chin to deviate more to the left. If you remember in this video, I mentioned how when I smile, it seemed off-putting. Well, that's because my upper jaw looks crooked like this. From this x-ray, you can see only the molars, which are the wisdom teeth and the teeth before the wisdom teeth are touching. Since the other teeth do not touch, the gap that you see in the middle is caused. From what I understand as a non-licensed learner, the teeth want to touch, but in order to compensate for how my lower jaw grew and with the upper jaw following, this is the aftermath. When it comes to the bites that I have, it is called anterior bite. I asked whether the anterior bite is due to the upper and lower jaw, and the answer was yes and no, because the anterior bite is a separate issue. The problem with this kind of bite is I am not using all of my teeth to enjoy my food. The work of chewing is primarily led to the back teeth or the molars. You can also say that chewing is left to the teeth that actually do touch. Well, what happens when you do this over a period of time? Your teeth become worn out and severely grinded, which is what the surgeon discovered in surgery. If you are wondering what personal items you will need after surgery, then scroll down below to the pinned comments because I created a free packing checklist which you can download. Something I want to make clear is the braces did not, nor did the formal orthodontist cause the growth disruption of my upper and lower jaw. These things happen when you are growing. It explains why when I was 12, everything seemed okay, but as I got older and continued to eat, the joint pain from tough meats, plantain chips, and etc. became problematic. Now that I have covered the two main issues for why surgery was suggested, I'll discuss what braces will and will not fix. From my previous braces attempts, the orthodontist tried to fix the unilateral crossbite. Unilateral crossbite means the upper teeth are narrow while the bottom teeth is broader, causing this discrepancy when I bite on one side. It looks like this. I will also leave an article I found that shared several reasons how a crossbite can form. I wonder if my tongue thrust problem added to this situation as well. Well, in my case, it couldn't be fixed. It meaning braces couldn't fix my teeth. From my understanding, the surgery allows the surgeons to manipulate the jaws so they can come together and therefore the upper and lower jaw align well, leading to the upper and lower teeth touching. If I decided to go the independent route, meaning braces alone and no surgery, the orthodontist would try as much as possible to get the upper and lower jaws aligned, but we all know how that went the first two times. I know I said a lot in this video. Essentially, I had surgery for two reasons. One, 
the upper and lower jaws were not aligned. This was problematic because it affected how I chewed my food and can ultimately cause long-term joint pain. The second reason was to correct my open bite caused by the growth disturbance of my lower jaw. If you like this video about what is an anterior bite and why is orthognathic surgery needed to correct it, please like, subscribe to the channel for more jaw surgery videos, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. If you can't wait for my next video regarding my braces journey, check out this video right here on the aftercare of wisdom teeth removal. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!